Hey, so this is Hugo Simon. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. I'm going to make a tutorial video explaining something really cool that I just figured out how to do with my son. That's how. I went from making lightsabers like this at home, which are a lot of fun, which are based on sort of, um, you know, rolls of wrap and toilet paper and stuff like that, to making one of these. So hang around, I'll show you how I did this. It's super easy. So this is a lightsaber, and this is how it works. Um, so first thing, uh, I have to give a shout out to the uh, blog where I got this information from. I found about, out about this um, from Rocket News 24, which is a Japan-based English language blog that was featuring a Japanese video of a dad who figured out uh, how to make one of these based on buying just, uh, spending just two dollars, two items and a dollar store, a hundred yen store in Japan. So yeah, the original video was by Norihiro Arita. So I thought I'd just give an English language version of that so that uh, you can follow along and also show some uh, design improvements that I think I made on the design that he showed. Okay, so what are you going to need to make this? Um, these things are available in any 100 yen store in Japan, but there's basically two items. Um, one is super easy, it's one of these little LED um, torches. The one that he used in his video, I just realized actually it's the same one as this one. However, that's not the one that I used. I used a more powerful but smaller one. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you the design that I used for this one because I think it's slightly better, even though this is a, a better lightsaber handle. The other item, uh, the other one dollar item or one hundred yen item in Japan, is this. Uh, I'll put that so that you can see on the second camera. Um, this is a uh, Toyu uh, pump. Uh, this is a kerosene pump that you use um, for a kerosene heater. This is what they use in a lot of parts of Japan. So they use like oil heaters for heating houses. It's basically a siphon. Uh, it's got a little pump attachment on the end and it's for siphoning fuel from a tank into um, a kerosene heater. However, as you can already get an idea, it's got a nice tube here um, that if you light up the right way, if you put a lit torch in here, um, you can make it light up like a very nice lightsaber, but you have to figure out what to do with the pump attachment and this bit sticking out on the side. Um, in terms of what else I needed to do this, um, a strong pair of scissors uh, for cutting through some of the plastic and for getting the shapes right, I also found a paper cutter was kind of handy. Um, and other than that, some colored cellophane, um, which I just got this whole pack of 25 sheets of multiple colors, which is great because you mix different colors. That was like another dollar. And uh, just any old rubber band. Um, so uh, I'll show you how I did it now. And booyah! So that's working. Torch is ready to go. So next, with this, uh, I'll show you that. What we need to do here is we want to get rid of um, this bit on top of the hook, which is used for holding the, the hose, uh, and get rid of the hose itself. And we want to get rid of the, the handle. Get the scissors out. And cut that off. This is another improvement I've made on the design of the Arita-san, which is that you can actually use this screw to hold in place the torch. Let's go back to cleaning up the tube itself. So let's get rid of uh, the side vent and the holder, which I'm going to use the cutter for. Okay, so I've done a little bit more than was really probably necessary, but basically I've just uh, kind of cleaned this out here. Definitely not a lesson there in how to use a box cutter. <laughs> But um, yeah, I cut the, the, the bits off, so basically we've got this. Um, and uh, this is like basically going to be the top of the handle. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to screw my LED firmly in place. Again, there are two alternatives to this. You can do as that guy suggested, just jam this one in. Um, maybe put tape around the cubby here. And actually this works better as a handle, so actually I think that's, that is kind of a good idea. However, I'm going to go a different way. What I'm going to do I'm going to create something a little bit more robust by um, taking the screw from the original part of the pump and using that to secure in place this. But first of all, I need to decide what color lightsaber I want. Um, I've already made a Mace Windu purple one, uh, which is this one. That's quite nice. Also, oh, actually, no, this is a blue. This is the Obi-Wan one. I also made a Mace Windu one by combining red and blue. My son wanted a purple one and they don't sell them in the shop, so my son really wants to make a yellow one. We're going to do that tomorrow. So because of that, I'm going to make for myself, because I am the fa I am his father, at least until proven otherwise, I'm going to make it a red one. Well, 
I mean, the incomplete article, um, based on this anyway, is this. So, well, here's a thought. This this works actually in terms of width, and I like this because it can expand and collapse up a little bit. Improvised, but uh, again, easy to turn on and off. It's got a good handle for the for the light, and boom. And um, yeah, I kind of like this. So the other thing is, if you want to make a lightsaber video. Um, you know, we actually hold it close to your face. Even if you do the lightsaber effect, having the actual light will make it, it'll add to the realism. Plus, because it's quite thin, it means you'll be able to fill it out easily with the After Effects uh, lightsaber plugins. So it's also great for that as well. If you ever want to make a lightsaber vid for your kid, it's much better to do it with something like this. Hey, so that is it. Um, so in the end of the day, um, I use slightly, each time I went to a different 100 yen shop, I got a different pump, uh, slightly different. Uh, so some of the things didn't work the same uh, this time, but that's what I love about this. It's, it's really easy to improvise. Um, there's a bunch of different approaches you can take. You can use different types of torches or different types of, um, you know, the way that you uh, adjust the handle. I use some tape here to cover this up um, because it all fit together a little bit differently. I use the handle I'm using a different part to what I did on the original version, but you can figure it out super easy. It's really easy to do. You get a, a, a kick-ass, you know, 50 centimeter 60 centimeter uh, lightsaber that lights up out of it. Um, we're really lucky in Japan that we have um, these uh, kerosene heaters that have these uh, siphon pumps. But that's it, as you can see, this is just a simple piece of PVC that I'm sure you can get from any sort of home center, even if you don't actually have the specific parts that I was showing. Um, and if you're in Japan, you're in luck, at least uh, while they still are selling these things, I guess with winter ending, they're probably going to be disappearing from the 100 yen shops pretty soon. So go out and buy a few, they're only a dollar each. Um, you know, I've got four now. <laughs> um, make a bunch of different colors and you can customize all the colors just with as much cellophane and rubber bands as you have. The, the, the one dollar LEDs are awesome. And this is something I made with my son today. And he had a great time. Um, you know, we had a great time together and we got an awesome product from it that, that he can show off on. You know, and I can use this, for example, as a, as a cool lamp, like a lightsaber lamp or a torch for walking around. They're really great. I mean, you know, if you want to keep saying this, keep it dark or not ruin your night vision and walk around. Um, and the thing is, these light up lightsabers you buy in, in the shops for like $100 or more, um, $2. Make it yourself. These are really, really awesome. Uh, and uh, again, I'll show you in with another clip. Uh, just me and my son playing, and um, which I don't show very often. Enjoy and uh, try it yourself. This is super fun. It's a it's a great project just to do by yourself, or especially with your kids. So try it out. Peace. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Shh. Wow. Oh, oh, ah, you cut my hand off. <laughs> <laughs>